Hello. So I was just about to do this job and I realized I don't video enough stuff. So what I thought I'd do is I would just uh, make a video of this as I do it for anybody else that hasn't ever replaced one of these uh, FET films. So my AnyCubic Mono X, this is the, the VAT for the AnyCubic Mono X. It's a big boy that uh, takes almost was it? it takes almost a litre of uh, resin to fill it up and I started noticing that I was having a problem with um, my 3D prints I had a print that failed three times and um, it turns out let's see if we can get it on camera I don't know if we can it's just here might just obviously where I've scratched off failed prints before there's a tiny tiny and it is tiny it's a tiny little pinhole in the uh, film there and what was happening was while printing um, resin was getting through that tiny pinhole and was actually unfortunately curing on the screen below so I finally realized that we had a pinhole so I bought I bought a set of these Photon Mono X two-piece replacement films got them off uh, eBay they are actually apparently official any cubic ones so I've never changed one of these um, I did get told that you could uh, you can actually if you don't have any replacement films as a temporary bodge you can actually stick a bit of sellotape over the hole and that will still work um, like I said I haven't tested that I've got the films now so I thought uh, Let's go ahead and um, change it over. So there's a lot of bolts uh, by the looks of it. You've got to undo all of these and then looking at it, um, it's, it's a sandwich together laser cut pair of plates. So this is cast aluminium, I would say. That's a uh, cast aluminium. Then you've got two stainless steel laser cut plates which are sandwiching the film between them so got all these we've got one lot of allen keys to undo which is going to take these sandwich plates out i have already slightly broken them because they i've broken them open um, they were quite tight um, I, I did start doing this and then realized you know what i should film this so Anyone else who's never done it can see if it's difficult or not. As I, uh, I do it myself. So what I do is I'm just got to remove all of these. These are the bolts that are coming out. All of these Allen bolts. So you've got to go around to take all of them out. And um, I'll pause this while I do that, and then we'll come back and see all of those out onto the next stage. Right, so that is all the bolts out. Um, there's a lot of them, a lot of bolts. So we've got all the bolts out, and now we can remove this sandwich pack. Um, it is, like I say, it's, as you can see, it's two stainless steel plates, and between sandwich between those plates is the film. So now there is even more bolts. Now we've got all these little Allen key bolts that we need to undo. Um, they're a smaller Allen key, they're not the same size, next size down. Um, we need to take all of these out, which are then release the film. Um, you might get a bit of resin by the looks of it. Uh, you can see some's going to have slightly escaped behind the film. So I will give that a little wipe, a little clean down just to get any of this excess resin off probably get a little bit of isopropic alcohol on there just to give it a rub off so you've got this rim that comes around the vat and then what happens is this rim as you can see there's a bit there's a bit of sag in the in the film and that's so that when it's pushed on that rim pushes up and stretches the film so that the film is really taut and stretched across the the bottom of the vat so 
I'm not sure if that means you have to leave excess and leave it really saggy or if it actually just stretches it. So what we'll do is if I now start the next size down, start taking out these and keys or they come out quite easy they weren't i haven't already i haven't loosened these ones but they're just tiny little see if you can see that they're just tiny little ones there so what we'll do is i'll do the same again there's a lot of them i'm going to go around take all of these out and then we'll um see how that looks afterwards so that's all of the screws out and then if we lift this off we take that top ring off, and here's our old film here, which has all the holes pierced through. So it does that; it runs all the way to the outside of the packing plate um, or sandwich plate. So I'm gonna have to pip puncture all those holes through there when I fit the new one. I, don't, I can't imagine. I haven't opened up the new ones yet, but. I can't imagine that they have got the holes in them already. And actually, if you have a look, I mean, like I say, this is a new one. This was the original one that came with the printer. It looks like it's been cut by hand down the side here because I don't know if you can see that one there. There's a cut. It cuts in. But let's get rid of this one because that one's got a hole in it. That's no good to us. And let's have a look what's inside this uh inside this any cubic package. Take out our little Gerber knife and uh open this up. Right then. So you get you get two in a pack. Um, they do seem expensive, I'd say, for, for just a bit of film. I think they were £22 for two two of them. Um, not exactly cheap, just for a thin bit of film. Makes me think there might be an alternative out there. So it's got a sealed it's got a piece of sealing paper either side of it. So let's take one of them off. And yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna have to cut it. We'll cut it off afterwards because it's much bigger than than the actual packing plates. So what we'll do is we'll um, sandwich it between the two plates, fix it all together, and then at the end I'll come around and I'll trim all the excess off. Um, very static, uh, very static, and I'm assuming we'll just place it on there. Get it pretty central. Okay. So that that on there, and then this was obviously the top plate that's got to go back on. So we'll sit that on there, and then what we're going to do is, like I say, it's not pierced. Um, I'm just going to see if the uh, the screw will actually pierce through and just fit in or if I'm actually oh yep it pierces pretty easy so the screw actually pierces straight through it by itself um, I don't need to go in there with a sharp tool of any kind to, to, to make the the hole for the screws so just put a little bit of down pressure on when you're putting the screw in and yeah, it just pierces straight through by itself. That should keep that fairly tight in the middle there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go back round, make sure these are quite quite tight. I'm going to go back round. I'm going to fit all these screws back in, um, and then what we can do is trim off the excess around the outside and fit it back into the actual aluminium vat. So fit these, and then we'll be back. So we've uh, all the screws are now back in, and uh, what we need to do here is remove the excess from around the outside. Now, could you use scissors? That'd be one option. Um, I want to get it nice and as close as possible. 
So I've just got a little razor blade and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edge of the metal as my guide. So if I just pierce through and then I push it, push it towards the metal frame. So you can see we get a nice, nice close up cut. So just with the blade, I'm just going to push it and use the, I'm going to use this metal frame as my guide. Bit more difficult on the corners, but on the straights, nice and easy. So push against this, the edge. There we go. Don't slip and pierce a hole through your uh, film, otherwise that will be a complete waste of money. You might feel more comfortable doing it with uh, scissors. Just a bit more, a bit more fiddly on the corners, but on the, on the on the streets, it's, it's fine. So last last side, get it. Oh no, one more side. Slice it round. There we go. So that's the excess all cut off. Don't need that anymore. That's a uh, our plate with our film sandwich between it. So let's see how much, I mean that's pretty, got a little bit of sag to it but I'm guessing it's fully going on with a stretch. So when this screws down that's going to that's gonna really stretch that so we've got all of these longer bolts to put back through. Let's just try one of these and make sure that that pierces through the film okay. It doesn't look like there's any one way to put this back. It's perfectly symmetrical. You can put it back in either way, or either orientation. Um, it's perfectly symmetrical. So let's take one of the big bolts, make sure that that pierces through the film. Needs a little bit more of a bit more of a push on the big bolts. We'll just light, lightly tighten that one up. What we, if we do them um, in like alternating, alternating ends, I pierce through that one. I'm not going to do them up fully tight yet. So we've got one at either one at either ends. Now let's do one either side. Like that. Come over, do one at this side. That's nice and. Nice and tight, nice and taut on there. Right, so that we've got one at either end, one either side. I'm just gonna wind these down so they feel about tight. I'll give them a final tension at the very end with the other end of the Allen key. Listen to that little tambourine there. So that's nice, got a nice tension to that. Well, that's the, two, the the ends done, the two sides done. They're not fully tight. I'll give them I'll give them a little tweak up at the end when I do all of them. I'm just going to go around. All I need to do now is go around now and put all of these uh, rest of these bolts back in, and then we can um, finish up. So there we go. That's all of the screws in. I went back around. Allen keys, sorry. I went back round and just tightened them all. They're all they're all pretty tight in there now. Um, that has really stretched that film. That has really stretched that film tight on there. I'm hoping. Well, no, that's that's so that's that feels pretty good. That's going to be nice and sit on top of the screen. Um, I'm just going to take better care of it from now on. Not not attack it with a scraper. Um, at ten pound a piece, I don't want to be replacing that too often. I think if it had a hole, if it had a hole up in the corner here somewhere, I would have kept the old, 
the old film and maybe used it on my um i've also got the anycubic mono the smaller version so i probably could have used a good chunk of this one to replace that one but yeah that's all done so it's not too hard not too much hard work it's just uh, a lot of allen keys you've got to undo a little bit of trimming and um there we go new film ready to fit in the machine and to uh, get printing so uh thanks for watching i've um, got on hopefully working on a halloween themed video very soon oh, i need to get that started because it's not long now till halloween so um see you all again soon